uh, meeting. I will share with you uh, meeting number four. So this is uh, the meeting, meeting number four. Uh, in this meeting, we will talk about uh, five chapters. All of them are basics and in a fundamental of uh, information technology. The first chapter will be about application software. We already discussed uh, introduction about application software during the first meeting. The second chapter will be about system software. Uh, you know about the difference between application software and system software. Uh, chapter number nine or the third chapter today uh, would be about input and output devices. Uh, then chapter 10, the system unit. Then finally, secondary storage. All of this information, I'm, uh, I'm sure that most of you knew about this fundamental information. So let's start. Uh, chapter 7, application software. Anyone remember about application software and the difference between application software and system software we already talked about? Can contribute with the dis discussion because we are in a discussion. All students can contribute. Anyone want to contribute, just go ahead. Most of you have the ability to talk through the mic or the chat whatever suits you for the contribution, you just uh, able to use it. So uh, I, I wish you guys can just give a few words about the these basic things because we need some contribution. I'm not here just to talk and finish the meeting. This is a discussion, not a lecture. Now we have almost 30, 40 students. No one have any words about these topics? Do you have a problem? Do you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes? Noor, Ustaz Mansour. Welcome, Khaled, Ustaz Noor. الله يسلمك حبيبي بس انا بجاوبك بس اول نقطة عندي حضرت متأخر بس انت جاك ايميلي امس ارسلته انا تبع شعبة ثانية استاذ نوف وش ايميل؟ I sent you one email yesterday about joining you this lecture because last week with Mr. Miss نوف اوكي وش سيشن يو ار فروم؟ 1306 Okay, no problem. I will uh, just, uh, you know, the, the system for uh, attending other sessions, you can just send an email to your uh, lecturer in your uh, session and uh, send a, a forward or a CC with my email. Yeah, I've sent it already, sir, but I just, I'm wondering if you, if you got it or not. Yes, yes, it's all right. I got it, I guess, because I have a lot of emails. If I didn't uh, send uh, an email to your lecture, uh, the le uh, your lecture for the 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 session will uh, mark your attendance. Don't worry. Okay, no problem. Uh, my answer to your question: application software. I think. Uh, yes. Uh, kind of programs you can use, like Word. Uh, any program yeah. you can you can you can put input in, uh, into it. Exactly. What about? Uh, what is the difference between application software and system software? Uh, system software, it 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 runs the 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 uh, the uh, program runs the the the, the uh, uh, system itself, like uh, uh, what they call it, uh, Windows, uh, yeah, Macintosh. Exactly. So system yeah. software run. You yeah. can run application software. Uh, inside yeah. the system software. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much, Khaled Hadi. Welcome. Uh, we go back to our uh, uh, slides, application software. In this chapter, we will identify general purpose of applications, uh, describe example of application software like word processor, spreadsheets, 
presentation programs and database management systems. Also, in this chapter, we will identify specialized applications. Also, describe uh, graphics uh, specialized uh, programs. Uh, not long ago, trained specialists were required to perform many operations such as market analysis, calculation of project sales, or designing graphics. Now you can do all these tasks or functions and many others with a personal computer and the appropriate application software for each of these uh, functions. Uh, application software can be described as end-user software and is used to accomplish a variety of tasks. Three categories of application and software. Uh, the first category, uh, general purpose application. So three types of application software, general purpose applications, specialized applications, and mobile apps or mobile applications. Firstly, we'll talk about uh, the first type of application software, which is uh, general purpose application includes word processors, allow you to create, edit, save, and print text-based documents, spreadsheets like Excel, programs that organize, analyze, and a graph numeric data such as budget and financial reports. Presentation uh, graph uh, graphics, are programs that combine combine a variety of visual objects to create uh, attractive, visually interesting presentations, such uh, the uh, program I'm using now through the meeting. Uh, database management system are programs that specialize or sets up uh, or structures a database, for example, Microsoft Access. Any other uh, applications that include the, uh, these specifications of general purpose application like uh, data management system. Do you know any programs other than Microsoft Access? Anyone knows MySQL? Or, yeah? Hello? Okay. Can we consider Google Drive? Uh, Google Drive is uh, application, but you can uh, uh, use it as a different, uh, like specialized application like for, for, uh, for saving documents. A general purpose application that you use to do some functions. Google Drive is just saving uh, files, but you can use Google Document. It's an application inside Google itself. You can use it as, uh, specify it as a general purpose application, which is Google Document. Do you know the Google Document? Anyone use the Google Document? Yes, I do. Yes, it is like word processor, but it is uh, online. You can log into your Google account and use your Google document. Uh, now we go to specialized applications, which are widely used within specific professions. These programs include graphics programs, graphic programmable graphics programs. Uh, there are uh, four types of that. Uh, desktop publishing uh, programs such as Adobe InDesign image editing programs like Photoshop, uh, illustration programs like uh, Adobe Illustrator, video editor like uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, and Real Play, for example. Uh, a user interface in an application software is the portion of the application that allows you to control and interact with the program. So most general purpose applications use a mouse and a graphical user interface, GUI, while GUI display graphics elements called icons in the application uh, software, uh, which uh, represent uh, fam familiar objects. The mouse controls the pointer on the screen. Also, there is a window and is simply a rectangle area that can contain a document, program, or a message, like the window I am sharing now with you 
which is PowerPoint. Uh, more than one window can be opened and display like if I want to open more than one PowerPoint file on the computer screen at one time. As you see, it's all basic information. We just finished chapter uh, seven, which was about application software. Now we will talk about system software, uh, which we already discussed about difference between system software and application software. System software like uh, the example uh, said, uh, Windows operating system, uh, Macintosh operating system for uh, computers, also for mobile phone, iOS for iPhone. These are operating system, system software. So in this chapter, chapter eight, the learning outcomes will be uh, describing the differences between system software and application software identify the four types of system software programs, e explain the basic functions, features, and categories of operating systems, compare mobile operating systems, including iOS, Android, and Windows Phone, compare desktop operating systems uh, like uh, Windows, Mac OS, Unix, Linux, and, and virt uh, virtualization. Who knows uh, virtualization? Anyone? already used uh, virtualization as operating yes. system? Yeah? Yeah, I use uh, virtual windows. I'm not okay. hard. Yeah. What else program that you can uh, use? Virtual, virtual box? Yes. Uh, this virtualization, you can use an operating system in a virtual environment. Uh, also, we will explain the purpose of utilities and uh, utility suits, uh, also uh, defining the four most essential utilities, uh, finally describe uh, Windows Utilities uh, program. So let's start what is uh, software, system software. Uh, end users use application software to accomplish a specific task, as we said in the previous uh, chapter, chapter seven. However, they also use system software. So system software works with end users, application programs, and computer hardware to handle the majority of technical details. So system software basically just handle the connection between the end users, me and you, and the user of the uh, the information technology, the, the application programs themselves, and the hardware. Uh, system software is not a single program, but a collection of programs that handle hundreds of technical details with little or no user intervention. Uh, the type of system software, you have uh, four uh, types of programs inside system software. Uh, operating system, utilities, device drivers, and language translator. Operating system coordinate computer resources, provide an interface between users and the computer and the application. So we still have the three basic elements to run that operating system can function. Utilities, uh, the other type of programs that system uh, software handling uh, like uh, the uh, task manager, for example, in computer is a utility. Uh, device drivers, also uh, another type of programs that uh, inside, uh, consist inside the system software, which allow particular input devices or output devices to communicate with the rest of the computer, which is communicate with different application software. Language translators, convert the programming instructions written by programmers into a language that computers uh, understand and process like the terminal and the CMD. Uh, so uh, definition for operating system can be said that is a collection of programs that handle technical tasks related to using a computer. An operating system is the most important type of computer program why? Because without that operating system, you cannot function any application, any hardware. So without a functioning operating system, your computer would be useless. For example, Windows 10 or Mac OS. 
uh, operating system store data and program in a system files and folders. Most of you already knew about the file and folders in any operating system. Files are used to store data and programs. Folders are used to store related files. So you can find files inside folders. A folder can contain other folders or subfolders and contain files. Uh, categories of operating systems, type of operating system. There are three categories of operating system. Uh, embedded operating systems, uh, standalone operating systems, and network operating systems. So embedded, the embedded operating system, also known as real-time operating systems and RTOS, are entirely stored within the device. Uh, for example, embedded in the device, like uh, a, uh, a smartwatch, uh, they control smartwatch, smartphones also have an embedded operating system. You can change the, the version of the system, but you, the device only able to install uh, this, the, the uh, embedded uh, operating system. For example, iPhone only install iOS and uh, Samsung, other phones can install Android. Video game system like PlayStation has their own embedded operating system. So you cannot install Windows uh, on uh, a video game system. And thousands of other small electronic devices. Uh, standalone operating systems, the second uh, category of operating system, also called desktop operating system, control a single desktop or a laptop. These operating systems are located on the computer's hard disk. For example, Windows 10 or Mac OS. Uh, network operating system in OS are used to control and coordinate computers that are networked or linked together. Anyone, Anyone knows, knows or worked with a company that using uh, Windows Server, for example, can uh, give a short uh, introduction about using uh, a network operating system. Any IT student that is working in IT department? I've actually once worked on Windows Server. Okay. ASP. Yes. So how, how was it uh, different uh, between the uh, desktop operating system? It has a, a whole different control panel. Yeah. You control the websites, the, uh, the databases, and all of that. Okay. Uh, you Nabil, yeah? Yes, I'm Nabil. Okay, thank you very much, Nabil, for that uh, valuable information. Thank you. So it is a little bit different uh, uh, other than a desktop operating system. We just finished chapter eight. Uh, about the uh, uh, system software. Uh, now we will talk about chapter nine, input and output devices. Uh, in this chapter is basically is about uh, input, the types of input and output devices. We will define the input, describe keyboard entry, including types of features, identify different pointing devices, including game controls, describe scanning devices, recognize image capturing, audio, Define output, identify different monitor for output. So what is input? Input is any data or instructions used by a computer. Input devices are hardware used to translate words, numbers, sounds, images, and gestures that people understand into a form that system in its can process. So basically input just uh, translate the input of these devices to a computer so that the computer can handle this input and translate it back to a human uh, way that a uh, human can process. The most widely used input devices are keyboard, so such as a traditional and a laptop keyboard. So, uh, for example, let's talk about how input going through the keyboard. So the human uh, can understand and uh, process and, uh, letters, numbers, 
so they can click on the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard as input device interact with the application or with the system uh, application or system software. Then the system software have to translate it to uh, its language, which is zero and one. After that, we'll, uh, we'll uh, print it in output device, such as a screen. You can read the screen uh, after the, the uh, operating software uh, deal with the, the specific application software to translate it. Pointing devices also, like the mouse, when touch the screen, you move the mouse. The movement of the mouse can be translated into zero and ones. So uh, the uh, application uh, software can uh, translate it back to uh, a movement on uh, an output device like a screen. And so on, you can uh, talk about the other uh, input devices like uh, scanning devices, image capturing device audio input device. So it is basically about translating uh, from a human uh, way of understanding to uh, information technology way of understanding, which is zero and one, then translate it back into human understanding who is related to the output. So uh, let's have some example of input devices, a keyboard, a scanner, uh, footage, uh, mouse movement. And now uh, we just covered uh, output just uh, uh, when we talk about the input. So the output is processed data or information, then translated to the uh, specific output device. Output takes the form of text, can be a text in application program like Word, a graphics, uh, photos, audio, and video. Output devices translate information that has been processed by the system unit uh, into a form that human can understand. The most widely used output devices are monitors, printers, uh, audio output devices. Types of monitors, you know all these, flat panel, monitor, curved monitors, e-books, readers, digital or interactive, whiteboard, uh, UHD, TV, digital projects, uh, projectors, and so on. These are uh, pictures of this type of uh, monitors, output monitors. Uh, also types of printers, inject, uh, inkjet uh, printers, laser printers, 3D printers and also types of output devices like speakers, headphones and so on. Yeah, we just finished the chapter nine, uh, nine output and input. Uh, chapter uh, 10, we'll talk about the system unit that process the data from the output device into the uh, input device. So in this chapter, the learning outcomes will be differentiated between the five basic types of system units describe the main components of a system unit. Uh, the system unit, uh, like the system chassis, is a container that houses most of the electronic components that make up a computer system. So we have different type of system chassis or sh system unit. There, there are five types of personal computers, if we talk about uh, personal computer, desktop, laptop, tablet, smartphones, wearable computers. Each has a unique type of system unit or system chassis. A desktop computer, for example, is the most powerful type of personal computer. Most desktops have their system unit in a separate case that contains the system's electronic components and selected secondary storage devices. Input and output devices such as mouse, keyboard, and monitor are located outside the system unit. Anyone right now using a, a desktop computer? I think most of you are using a laptop. I am using a desktop. MashaAllah. So are you studying IT? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, that most uh, IT students 
still use a desktop computer because it is more powerful than a laptop. So uh, it is uh, familiar for most of you. Uh, what is a desktop computer? We'll go back to the slides. Desktop, this type of system unit is designed to be placed either horizontally or uh, vertically, as you can see in the uh, pictures next. Uh, desktop system units that are placed vertically are sometimes referred uh, to as a tower unit or tower computer. Some desktop computer like Apple's iMac have their monitor and system unit housed together. In the same case, these computers are known as all-in-one. These are some uh, informations about uh, this uh, desktop uh, computer. Now we go to laptops. Laptops are not as powerful as desktops. Laptops are portable and much smaller than desktops and cheaper also than desktop. The system units are housed with selected secondary storage devices and input devices, keyboard and pointing device. So there so are- I have a question. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, in which way they are more powerful than desktops? Because uh, in in the way that you can upgrade uh, the, uh, the, the 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 part of the system unit, like in a in a desktop computer, you can upgrade the the yeah, hard disk cards. to whatever you want. It is unlimited. Also the, the RAM, also the motherboard, you can change it, you can have the, the, the type you want of uh, motherboard related to your work. So that's considered as powerful? Yes, it is related to the work you are doing, is powerful. But while in the laptop you have a, a specified type of motherboard, type of CPU, you are not... Uh, for example, when I uh, wanted uh, a Mac laptop, MacBook, for example, I wanted uh, uh, two terabyte hard uh, drive and also wanted uh, uh, different uh, um, processor type. But unfortunately, the company cannot uh, uh, cannot uh, make that type of processor. That's why uh, laptops are specified. But in a desktop, you can buy everything separated. You can go to the, the computer shop and buy the box, the MBT box, and go and find your motherboard. You can even order your motherboard online and order a specified uh, processor and RAMs and everything. So you can, ha you can build your own powerful computer. You're right, but I feel like uh, if you want specific specifications, you can uh, put it in your head and search for the specific laptop that have but this, uh, sometimes you cannot find it. Sometimes you cannot. As I said, I tried to find in a uh, in a MacBook that has a specific uh, processor and a specific hard drive, but uh, the company just uh, replied that we don't make these specifications. But you, if you want uh, these specifications, usually uh, people who are looking are looking for these uh, specifications are. The people working with graphics, with gaming, with um, programming, with uh, analyzing. So they need uh, also uh, when you are working with servers, you need uh, uh, some specific uh, desktops that related to work with servers. So it is related to what uh, uh, what is the person looking for. That's why they call it a powerful. Uh, more powerful than laptops. Okay, laptops are portable and much smaller than desktops. Their system units are housed with selected secondary storage devices and input devices, keyboard and pointing device. There are several specialized laptops, two-in-one laptops, gaming laptops, ultra books, mini uh, netbooks, as you can see from the pictures, came in a uh, laptop and two, uh, one, two in one laptops. Uh, tablets are the newest and one of the most popular type of computer. They are effectively a thin slab that 
is almost all monitor with the system unit located behind the monitor. Tablets are smaller, lighter, and generally less powerful than laptop computers. Uh, tablets do not have a standard keyboard. Instead, most tablets use a virtual keyboard that appears on the screen and uh, is touch sens sensitive. Sometimes you can <coughs> have um, out uh, extra uh, keyboard output uh, device as an output device. Many tablets are a type of a tablet with a smaller uh, screen. They do not have all the functionality of the bigger tablets, but they are easier to transport in pockets and purses. Smartphones, uh, most of you know about smartphones for the most uh, popular mobile device. Uh, they, are, they extend the abilities, the capabilities of a cell phone by providing computing powers, like you are using Word document in a uh, mobile phone these days and PowerPoint. They capture and send audio, video, run apps, and connect to the internet. The system unit is located behind the display screen. Uh, wearable computers, uh, such as uh, smart uh, watch or wearable devices, are one of the first uh, evolutionary uh, steps to the IoT. IoT is the Internet of Things. Uh, we already talked about uh, Internet of Things. Anyone can say what is Internet of Things or explain how Internet of Things is working? Go ahead. Walid Khalaf, you are opening your microphone. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. What is IoT? Do you have any idea about IoT? IoT. Internet of Things. Yeah. How how is it working? It's like ecosystem for different devices. Yeah, collect information. Yeah. And how, how it works, like uh, give you the, the information lively. Yeah, they have to be all connected to the same network or yeah. to the Wi-Fi. These days we use uh, wearable devices connected to the internet. So when you use uh, like a smartwatch, for example, or maybe a mobile phone, when you use a Fitbit, for example, as uh, uh, or as tips, uh, as application that uh, calculate your heart, uh, heart uh, pulse uh, or your uh, diet or your uh, training, all these are connected uh, to the same network as, uh, network as you said, which is the internet, to give you live uh, information and calculate uh, the final data for you lively. So these devices contain an embedded computer on a chip that is typically much smaller and less powerful than a smartphones. The most common wearable computers are smartwatches and activity trackers. Uh, components of the system unit with cell and personal computers come in a variety of different sizes, shapes, and capabilities. However, they share a similar components. So we have system board, microprocessors, and memories. So now we'll go to chapter 11. Secondary storage. In this chapter, we will dis distinguish between primary and secondary storage, identify the important characteristics of secondary storage, including media, capacity, storage devices, and the speed of the access. Describe how hard, hard disk uh, platters, trackers, sectors, compare internal and external hard drivers, hard drives, uh, compare performance, enhancement, Define optical storage, 
defines uh, solid state storage and finally define cloud storage. So memory is a holding area for data, instructions and information. We have two types of memory, RAM and ROM. RAM holds data and programs that the CPU is presently processing and the ROM is uh, holding the permanent data that the computer uh, is uh, in need. So we cannot change the ROM, but uh, the ROM can be deleted once the computer is shut uh, down. So before, that, before data can be processed or a program can run, it must be in uh, the RAM. For this reason, RAM is referred to as a primary uh, memory. RAM is temporary or uh, volatile memory, which means that it, it will lose all of its contents as soon as the computer is turned off. While ROM uh, is permanent memory, and usually have the BIOS on it and the computer use it to run the motherboard so the motherboard can run the operating system. Uh, other than primary memory, we have different type of storage. It's called secondary storage. So secondary storage provides permanent or non-volatile uh, storage. In secondary storage data and programs can be retained after the computer has been shut off, so you can find the data after the, sh uh, the computer uh, is turned off. Secondary storage devices include uh, hard disks, solid state storage, optical disks. No, not anymore using optical disk these days. So hard disks save files by altering the magnetic charges. Uh, of the disk surface. This is how the hard disk is uh, working. As you can see, the internal hard disk and the external hard disk, um, bo uh, both of them using magnetic charges. So two basic types of hard disk, internal hard disk located inside the system unit, store and retrieve large quantities of information quickly, have a fixed amount of storage, External hard disks located outside the system unit, typically connected to a HP port, uh, provide slower access than internal hard disk, have a fixed amount of storage, it is removable. removable. Um, uh, solid state storage, the second type of secondary storage, unlike the hard disk, which use magnetic and have read rights, uh, solid state storage device have no moving parts. So data and information are stored and retrieved electronically from these devices. For example, SSDs, uh, solid state drivers, flash memories, you don't have any movable parts inside. It is electronically uh, moving the data working. USB drivers, flash drives, and so on. These are pictures of the SSD, uh, flash memory card, and USB drivers. And remember these working with uh, the data electronically, not in a magnetic way, uh, way like the hard, drive, hard disks. Optical disks, uh, not a lot of people using the, them as a, a storage device. Uh, while maybe in a gaming or uh, a movies, you can uh, save your files here, or companies can sell uh, CDs and DVDs, also Blu-ray discs. So uh, it, uh, its function as a laser beam alters the surface of a plastic or metal, uh, metallic disc to present data. Example CDs store 700 um, megabytes, DVDs store 4.7 gigabytes, Blu-rays discs store 50 gigabytes, like the one used in uh, gaming, video game. That's it, I think we just finished meeting four. As you can see, uh, meeting four is very basic and uh, all about basic information in information technology. You will have a quiz 
for this meeting, I think next Saturday. Did you check the timetable for the quiz? Is uh, it uh, be on 31st of October? Okay, next like Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So as you can see, it is very basic. You can just read it uh, 10 minutes before the quiz. And also you can you can find your answer while you are solving the quiz. You have plenty of time. So how was uh, the marks for the quizzes for everyone? Uh, mine was great. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Very good. MashaAllah. So uh, don't uh, forget about the second activity and it will start, will, it will be open uh, on the uh, 31st, yeah, 31st of October. So uh, the same day of the quiz, the activity will be open and will be open for seven days. So we have seven days to finish the activity. Any question related to the meeting? Thank you, Doctor. It was very clear about activity two. Yeah. Yeah. What should we? What materials should we study for it? Uh, previous meetings. You have to study uh, previous meetings. Usually after yeah after the activity one, but uh, generally you have to study uh, previous meetings till today's meeting. So from one to four. Yes. Okay, and also you. from the ebook, you can you can open the uh, electronic book in a different uh, browser or different tab, so you can find your answers if you want. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. But you need, yeah, you're welcome. But you need to read the smart book first, so you can find the answer very quickly. Right. Okay. Any question? Okay, that's it for today. I already downloaded the attendance. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any question uh, related to the uh, meetings, the material, send me an email. If you have any question related to the quiz, the previous quizzes, you can just contact the BCC. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, doctor? Yes? Uh, finish the lecture? Yeah, the lecture is finished. Everyone can leave now. If you have can, any questions. Uh, can me out? Sorry? I can out. Uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, you can, you, can, uh, you can look out now. Um, okay, thank you, teacher. Everyone can uh, look out and the lecture is finished. If you have any question, ask me through my email related to the, to the meeting. Is the next uh, quiz from meeting one to four? No, if you go back, I will share with you the screen. Wait. If you go to the LMS, try to log in to the LMS. Uh, doctor? Yes. Uh, the final uh, exam, the final. Um, yes. I study only uh, only a book. Uh, slides uh, with the smart book. Slide. Um, yeah. Slide. The slides. The meetings. The PowerPoint files or the PDF files. How whatever many meetings? Download. Yeah. How many meetings? We have six meetings. All the study and uh, including the smart book. The meetings are just for discussions. Uh, some information 
uh, are uh, in the smart book, some explanation are in the smart book. So you need to read the smart book also for explanation. Okay, thank you. So related to the uh, quiz, as you asked, uh, I will show you the LMS. As you can see in the main dashboard for TU 170, you can go to the quiz for, and it says here material meeting for. So this is the material for quiz number four. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Okay, teacher, you took the attendance. Yes. Any, any, everyone uh, have the right to leave now. It's all right if you have any question, just go ahead. Teacher, what about the finals? Is it going to be in, online or in the campus? I don't know, actually. Uh, we will be informed about that before in hand, inshallah. All right. Doctor, uh, I do have one question. Can I ask you? Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, the last uh, at quiz uh, two, quiz number two, uh, I answered four questions. And one of the questions was... Uh, questions was like... Uh, there was like no no right uh, options. Like if you remember the the language differences, there was like a small mistake. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, you told me about that. But it has yeah. a part of it uh, is the answer. I didn't type these uh, questions, but let me check if I can go and find the quiz. I know, but the 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 the, the, the issue is that I I talked to the to the coordinator of the subject, and he told me that. Uh, the marks will be the grades will be systematic so there is no mistakes in the in the grade and i'm 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 i'm, I'm sure that i i answered them all and i double and triple check all the answers because i screenshot the the questions you sent me I, an email about that yeah 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 yeah, unfortunately, I cannot do anything about it but uh, uh, i mean at, at first at your first your question I about three. Yes, I just, at first I got three out of six, and then they, they changed the grade to four point five out of six. I'm good with it, but you, if you're in my position, like you will understand that you 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 answered all the questions and you double triple check them, and you're pretty sure of it. So I mean, if you have nothing to do, it's fine for me. But I'm just trying to let you know that uh, I will I will uh, just I will make sure that you will be satisfied at the end of the semester. Just uh, remind me. After the meeting uh, six, remind okay. me about your situation, okay. and I will do my best, inshallah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank no. you for the time, though. Thank you. Teacher.